between the lines. Three, two, one, go. And it's now time for the sandstorm of match number 22, 42, 13. Already placing a hatch panel on the front of the cargo ship for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, 401 is trying to do the same for Blue. It's now time for tele-operated period. 461 is lining up. They're trying to place a hatch panel that they still have from, uh, from the sandstorm period. They have it placed on the first level of the rocket for the Red Alliance. We have two minutes left in this match. High Rollers staying true to their name, reaching up high and placing a hatch panel on the third level of the rocket. They're going back and forth from their human player station, and they almost have all six hatch panels placed on the rocket. Incredibly quick and incredibly accurate, and no defense yet. That might change based on the Red Alliance's strategy. 461 lining up. They have another piece of cargo placed into the cargo ship for the Red Alliance. Their partner, 4213 Metal Cow Robotics, lining up. They're also working on placing a level three hatch panel on the rocket for Red. 230 is trying to go up against Team 401. That's Gale Hawks. They're currently ranked at number six. And 401 has obviously identified them as a target. They want to stop whatever they're trying to do. Unfortunately, their defense was not quite good enough because 230 was still able to place a hatch panel on the third level of the rocket for the Red Alliance. 55 seconds left in this match. The high rollers need to get one more piece of cargo in their rocket in order to complete it for the Blue Alliance. And they've got it. That's huge for the Blue Alliance. Bumblebee over on the other side of the Blue Alliance field. 33-39 is now also working on the second rocket. They have the second level almost done. 35 seconds left of the match. WBI 461 lining up. They've got one more cargo left in this match. They were able to place the second to last one. Now their partner coming out behind them, unfortunately dropping it. We have 20 seconds left in this match. 461 coming back over, working on placing that last cargo they need for the rocket. They've got it for the Red Alliance. Their partner, 230, is lining up trying to do a level three climb. We might have a double unicorn match here, folks. 33, 39, trying to get up on half level two. One second left, getting that ranking point for the climbing for the hab levels right at the last moment. That's gonna be 105 to 99. The Red Alliance was able to get that much coveted four ranking points. That's keeping 230 in the number six position. It's also bumping up our other two Red Alliance robots in the ranking.